When you say that coffee is a journey, the whole process encompasses that kind of thought. From the way it's ground, to the way it's brewed, to the way it's consumed, it's the whole experience. It's an intentional and thoughtful process that you continuously seek out. Hey guys, I'm really excited to test out this coffee shop. I want to see if there's anything I'll learn because I've always wanted to up my coffee game. I'm really looking forward to the morning drive today and to learn something new about coffee. Specifically, different brewing methods. Hey guys, what do you guys want to have first? Oh, like, we have... I'll take your recommendation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like sure. A... All right, here you go. At first, I was thinking, oh, that should be easy because I was outside of the bar, yeah. so I didn't know anything behind it. But then once I started, you know, you get all the, it's like a deep rabbit hole <laughs> of uh, coffees and everything uh, with the measurements. Yeah, but yeah, but it was fun. I mean, what, what, once I started, it's like I can't get enough of it. This is especially coffee. Uh, it's not just the grade of the coffees, but how you prepare it. If you get something wrong with it, most of the time you throw it away. It's like you don't serve it because you know you made something, and then you don't want the customer to experience bad yeah bad coffee. So if you made like a wrong temperature, wrong weight of the water, you, you can't serve that because this is gonna change the overall experience. One of the main reasons that I open the shop every day. Like, I don't care if I have no breaks. I like interacting with people, meeting a lot of people. Yeah. It's like one of my motivations to open up a shop. From what I've seen, we just hit the tip of the iceberg of what coffee and coffee making has to offer. You can take the same set of beans, but with the many ways it can be prepared, with the different people that make the coffee, there's going to be a number of ways to enjoy your cup of joe. And that's the amazing thing about it. But regardless of method, what's certain is, intention plays a huge role in assuring quality. The craftsmanship, really, is the mindful repetition of what you do. Whether it's by spending hours on end enhancing your skill, or by opting to do it by hand. And this coffee experience reminds me of what makes Lexus so great. It is their commitment to excellence. And that's the thing. Just like the coffee, it is the nature of craftsmanship that has always elevated Lexus to where it is now and where it plans to be. If it was just precision that made something perfect, we would see artisan coffee made by machines. But we don't. Instead, we see people with passion accompanying technology to make these great things. Lexus does recognize that to make something exceptional, it requires a masterful touch that comes from the heart. And we can have that same feeling, whether it is driving around in a Lexus or grabbing hand-brewed coffee that is well worth the wait.